Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make the classic Cantonese sticky rice with Chinese sausage and mushrooms. So let's get started. Let's uh, review the ingredients here. I have uh, short grain sweet rice, and this is from uh, Coda Farms. Some jasmine rice. And for the Chinese sausage, I like to use the uh, one made with uh, chicken and pork. And this is from uh, Kam Yan Jan. I also like to include some smoked ham, and this is the Shin Dong Yang brand. Next, we have canned water chestnuts. I have um, rehydrated uh, Chinese mushrooms here, and these need to be soaked in hot water for about 45 minutes to an hour. I have a couple pieces of uh, rock sugar, cilantro, green onion, Shaoxing wine, sesame oil, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and white pepper. For the prep, let's begin with uh, measuring out the rice. I'm using a uh, rice bowl as a form of measurement. So there's one rice bowl. And the secret to my recipe is I like to cut it in with the jasmine rice. It's a two to one ratio. So I have a half a bowl of um, jasmine rice I'm adding together. And what this is going to do is it's going to cut into the stickiness of the rice. And a lot of times when you eat this particular dish, it sits really heavy in your stomach. But this is going to lighten it up quite a bit. Okay, so let's put this aside. And next, we'll place the Chinese sausage and the ham into a steaming bowl. And I'm using half a package. So, and the smoked ham usually comes in like two pieces. So I'll use one piece. And I'll cut a little bit extra off here. So this is ready to be steamed. We'll put this aside. So next, let's uh, prep the mushrooms. We have two pieces of rock sugar. We'll put it into a uh, small pan and we'll trim the stems off the mushrooms. And then we're also going to strain the uh, soaking liquid into the pot. And into the pot, we'll add some oyster sauce, a little bit of soy, sesame oil, and Shaoxing wine. And we're also going to add, we'll add enough water to cover the mushrooms. We'll put this aside also. And next, let's uh, dice the water chestnuts. And the water chestnut is going to give the uh, rice an uh, unexpected crunchy texture. So I'll just cut it in half and then cube it. And you don't need to mince this very fine. We'll do like a, a quarter inch dice. And that looks pretty good. Put that aside. And next, we'll mince the green onion and cilantro. And for cilantro, we're using the stem and the leaves. So we have the initial prep done. Our rice is going to be washed, rinsed, and cooked. We have the sausage and ham ready to be steamed. The water chestnuts cut is going to be uh, dry pan fried. The cilantro and green onions are going to be used for the garnish at the end. And the mushrooms are going to be braised in this uh, cooking liquid. Okay, so the next step is uh, washing and rinsing the rice. And you're just going to run it between your hands. And what this step does is it's going to remove some of the starch. And you can see the water is turning white. 
And um, I don't own a rice cooker, and I always uh, cook my rice on the stove top. So you can, if you have one, you can make it into the use the instructions for your rice cooker and make this. Okay, so rinse the water out. And we'll give it one more wash. water and you can see the water is much clearer and to measure how much water to use for cooking rice I generally use the hand method I put my hand down into the pot of rice and as long as the water is covering up my uh, top knuckle it's enough and for making this uh, sticky rice dish I don't want the uh, rice to be too mushy so I'm actually going to take a little bit of water out just by using my hand just three little scoops yeah so now it's a little below my knuckle okay so let's uh, put this on the stove I have the heat uh, turned up to a uh, medium and we'll let it cook for about um, 10 to 12 minutes and by that time the rice would have absorbed most most of the water Okay, so what you see here is four things going on simultaneously. The rice is cooking at medium heat for 10 minutes. I have the um, mushrooms here braising, a pan full of uh, water for steaming. I'm putting the sausage and ham inside. I turn it down to medium, cover it, and we'll let this steam for 20 minutes. The mushroom is gonna braise for about the same amount of time. And for this uh, little pan, I am dry frying the water chestnut. And what this is going to do is, it's going to remove the um, canned flavor from the water chestnut. I don't, I don't add any oil. We'll just let this slowly cook out. And I'm, this is set at a uh, medium low temp. So chuck the rice. Most of the water is being absorbed. Turn it down to low and let that steam for about another uh, five minutes. Uh, the mushrooms are braising at um, let's say medium, medium, medium high heat, and I want the mushrooms to absorb most of the uh, braising liquid, and that's going to take about 20-25 um, minutes. We can stir the water chestnuts around here, and this will take about maybe uh, five minutes to cook some of the uh, little moisture out. So after five minutes, with the rice steaming, turn it, turn the heat off. You don't want to develop a crust on the bottom of the pot. It's been about five minutes for the water chestnuts. And uh, they are done. Turn off the heat. So the heat is off for the rice and the water chestnuts. So we'll continue letting the uh, mushroom braise, the sausage and ham steaming for another 15 minutes. And we'll be back. And while the rice is, uh, has been sitting self-steaming off the heat, I like to use a pair of chopsticks and loosen the rice up. I don't want the rice to develop a crust. Okay, let that continue to self-steam. Okay, I just switched um, burners for the water chestnut and the mushrooms. I just want to show you that the, the braising liquid is cooking down. And at this point, after about um, 15 minutes, I'm turning it down too low. Just let that simmer for another five minutes. Okay, 20 minutes has elapsed. Let's turn off all the heat. Turn off the mushroom, turn off the um, heat to the steaming sausage and ham. Okay, so check everything out. So we here we have the cooked rice, the finished uh, braised mushrooms, the water chestnuts, and the steamed sausage and ham. So, okay, for the next step, what we're gonna do is Remove the rice onto a large pan. Have a, have a pan large enough to spread out the rice. We're gonna let this cool. And the rice looks good. And one cup of uncooked rice will yield three cups cooked rice. So this is about um, four and a half cups of cooked rice. And usually I make uh, double the amount of what I'm showing you. And one of those uh, 
Chinese moms that always cook a lot for people to you know, have enough to take home. Share the love, right? We'll put this aside a little bit here. We'll let that cool. Okay, so next I have the uh, water chestnuts. I'm just gonna evenly spread it across the rice. Okay, we'll put this aside and we'll continue with the rest of the prep. We're going to dice the sausage and ham. I like it with um, really small bite side pieces so every time you take a bite of the rice you get a little bit of the ham and the sausage in it. Put it into like an eighth inch thin. Do a fine cut. And if the ham and the sausage is too hot to handle, you know, wait till it cools down. And for the ham, there's some of the fat there. I like to leave it on. It has a really nice flavor. Okay, so I'm just placing it back into the bowl of the sausage. While the sausage was steaming, the juices came out. So once you put the sausage and ham back into the bowl, it's gonna absorb the juices. And we'll do the same with the sausage. Cut it into like a quarter inch dice. So that's all minced up. Let's move on to um, dicing the mushrooms. Cut into the same size also. It's going to have a very nice flavor from the uh, braising liquid. Okay, so that's done. Put it back, put it into the bowl with all the braising liquid. Okay, so um, let me wash up and we'll proceed with the next step. So now all the prep work is done for the sticky rice. Uh, let's uh, put this dish together. And I'm going to share my secret for uh, my recipe is I don't stir fry it. I just mix everything together. And this technique is going to produce a much lighter version of a sticky rice dish. It's not going to sit heavy in your stomach. So we've already uh, put out the water chestnuts. So I'm just using my hands. I'm going to spread the mushrooms evenly over the rice. Same with the sausage and the ham. Just spread it evenly across. And a lot of people use, uh, like to use uh, dry shrimp in the, in the recipe. Um, nobody in my family likes eating dry shrimp, so I omit it. But if you like it and you're going to use it, uh, you would soak it the same way as you do um, the mushrooms. And I would steam it together with the sausage. If you're, if you're using a large uh, dry shrimp, I would mince it to about the same size that you're cutting the other ingredients. Let's season this. I just really eyeball everything. So you can start light-handedly. I have white pepper. And I'm just slowly Spring plate over the mixture. Oyster sauce. And you can also you can always adjust the seasoning later. Sesame oil. And a bit of the shell shing one. Then I'll add the half of the green onions and cilantro mixture. I'm just going to mix it by hand. And I'm not pressing down the rice. I'm kind of slowly uh, palming it. And this can be made uh, a few hours ahead of time of serving. And actually it's better that way. It gives it uh, time for all the flavors to melt. See, it's looking good. And everyone's going to love this dish. 
and you're gonna get the nice flavor from the Chinese sausage, the smoked ham, the mushrooms has a nice uh, braising liquid. Yeah, the little tad of sweetness. Okay, so let's give it a taste so we can adjust the seasoning. Mmm, that's really good. I don't like it too salty. I like to keep it light. You can keep this warm for a few hours in the warming drawer or set at a very, very low heat in the oven. And if you do that, if you do set this in the oven, don't add the cilantro and green onions until you're ready to serve it. I would mix it in at the end. Because if you leave it in the heat, the green onion and the cilantro is going to change color. I have a warming drawer on my stove and I like to set it at a low. This will sit nicely for a couple hours without a discoloration. And it's going to give time for all the flavors to melt. And it's going to taste fantastic. And save the remaining uh, green onion and cilantro for garnish at the top. Okay, so I'm going to put some in the serving plate here. And this is going to be a family favorite. And I always make this dish uh, for the holidays and on a special occasions like birthdays. And everyone loves it. And here we have the classic Cantonese sticky rice with Chinese sausage and mushrooms. This unconventional method of uh, not stir-frying the rice and everything together creates a much lighter flavor. It's not going to sit heavy in your stomach all day. So that means you can have more of it. So remember, there's no right or wrong way to cooking, just a different way. So give it a try for the upcoming holiday. I think you'll like it. It's absolutely delicious. This is also a very popular dish served at a lot of the dim sum restaurants. Now you can make it at home. Enjoy! Okay, let's see if Shanna likes it. Oh, yummy. She loves sticky rice too. Thank you for watching everyone. Until next time, eat well and be healthy. Good girl.